sickle cell disease. Even without weather delays, supply of the vaccine is extremely limited. Some local health departments say they're not even close to getting through phase 1B. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie spoke to health experts about the shortage and how it impacts vaccinations. The plan has always been to vaccinate as many people as possible as quickly as possible, but fewer allotments of the vaccine are causing backups. We just do not have the vaccine to do that. We've had to cancel and reduce. And it's not just the Stevenson County Health Department, but places like FHN Hospital, which can vaccinate hundreds of people per day, but has had to cancel and reschedule appointments. We're on standby, ready to go, yet I understand the local health departments are really constrained by the supplies that they get allocated. Late last week, Bentima says he was notified Stevenson County's weekly allotment of 500 first doses would drop to 200 for the next three weeks. 65 and older for us to do all of those people at the rate that we're receiving vaccine will take us two and a half months. It's inefficient to be doing 50 or 100 people. Similarly, Ogle County's Public Health Administrator Kyle Almond says first dose allotment went from 600 doses a week to 200 and forced more than 100 appointments to be rescheduled. So we asked the state of Illinois why first dose allotments dropped around 60 percent. The state says it needed to fill second doses before starting first doses. But as a vaccine expansion looms next week, Bentima wants the state to pump the brakes. Everybody do their phase 1B, the, uh, the over 65 in schools. Then you could move on. Tens of thousands of people in priority groups have yet to be vaccinated. And without the ability to do mass vaccinations, a long process drags on. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. Bentima says if it's your turn to be vaccinated and you registered online but didn't receive a call, be patient. He says the health department is getting back to people as quickly as possible once it has the doses available. And the 13 WREX vaccine team now takes your questions about the vaccine. We've gotten dozens of emails already. If you have something regarding the vaccine that you want us to dig deeper into, we'll do that too. Email us vaccine at WREX.com. One of us on our team will work to get you those answers as quickly as possible.